Oh good. I thought I might have accidentally pissed her off because I misunderstood those lines. Wait, who the hell are you? Eh, I'll talk to you later. Actually, no, I'll talk to you now. Why not? Still a Ballister to talk to. I can talk to him last. You're a hard woman. Who the hell are you? Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. All oh, right, DLC. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins. Levy the trader. I'm you. I've never heard of you. Um, you know Duncan? Oh yes, for years. Considered him a friend. I did. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan. Tell me more, Mr. DLC well, man. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Um, what promise, promise Duncan made you? As you know, my family's name is mud around noble circles. My great great yeah, that's grandmother, a saying Sophia that doesn't Dryden, make much was the sense in this world. Commander Name of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Uh, that seems about drastic, isn't it? And then some. Not much is known about that time. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies. With nary a friend in the world. That's not very nice. But Dryden's are tough. I never understand we rebuilt, that. We became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Just completely condemning one entire family because of the actions of one or two of them. It's bullshit. Uh, tell me what I need to know. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? So you want me to go? Uh, I've been... Go to Soldier Peak. Why couldn't... Didn't Duncan help me? I've been there because of wardens. Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help a you. thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels We're not together. gonna go there just yet, because I will get my ass handed to me. I'm getting my party first. Anyway. It's last, but certainly not. Nope. No. Nope, wait. Nope. I forgot. I have to talk to the puppins. Oh, why you little? Sure. What? 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 <laughs> Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Why did you get near his food? It's dog food. I still you should have. It's just wanting you to take me hand up. Good boy. Jesus, this is a Alistair lesson. Only well, has a war dog. He's so cute. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Yeah. Poppins. I once heard a really you can get so many cool just little like warriors in the days of talkings too with the Poppins. Would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. No. Yeah. I don't think you'd like that. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dion agrees. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, Don't make fun of my puppins. I need to know if you hadn't didn't know, you probably it was probably tasty. <laughs> oh, I can just make fun of the puppins. Got more to say? Oh, look at what your fool dog. Your staff is floating pack. on your back. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. <laughs> you I don't want a dead body in my underwear. It could be stinkier than what normally <laughs> could it be. <laughs> um, why doesn't he share his food with me? You are welcome to this if you really want it. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. You're a war dog, not a nursemaid. You, you heard the lady. Oh, poor Puppins. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. He was just trying to be... He was just trying to be a friend. That dog is too smart for his own good. He is certainly manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> More saying hello to the Puppins? Oh, he's still got the stun one. <clears throat> You're growling at my dog. Stan! I'm, I'm just gonna watch him. 
You are a true warrior and worthy of respect. Aww. I ship it. Um, ignore him. Um! Dog! I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> Are you gonna give me things? Because I know he can give you things. Okay, that's his normal one. Let's pet him. Let's pet the puppins. Aww, he's so cute. Okay, now for realsies. Last but not, certainly not least, Alistair! What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Because you will be my love interest. Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. Good to the know. Main purpose Let's get them to help us. Is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Um, so, Templar, so Templars use magic themselves? You could call it that, sure. The Chantry doesn't look on it the same way, however, since really our talents only work on mages. And because none of you person, are mages or I'm you'd be in the just circle. A guy in a metal suit. Have you hunted many mages? No, I never actually became a full Templar. Duncan recruited me before I took my vows. I was only present during one harrowing. The ritual that they test the mages with. It's not unlike our joining, really. And terrifying? Just as deadly. Yep. <laughs> the girl they tested, she had a demon put inside her to see if she could resist. And she couldn't. <gasps> we had to slay her. Yep. End it quickly. I have to say I didn't have much interest in becoming a Templar after. Yeah, I wouldn't either, because that's bub kiss. Or bullshit. Seems like the Templars run the Chantry. That, but it's not so. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Uh, Which means we become addicted. addicted. And since addicted the to Lyrium. Great. With the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. That the Templars are drug addicts and the Chantry is their dealer. Well, they do it, and they feel perfectly justified. <sighs> you don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective, or so I was told. But yet Maybe you do can do that. it just fine. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. <laughs> you sound so, uh... What do you need? Not happy about that. Ask away. See, can you teach others to be a Templar? I suppose I could. But I really would rather not. When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the chance. So I have to make him like me more. I'd I can do that. I not go back on my word. Very well, I respect your word. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. When you like me more. Which this you will. something small you're asking, after all. Okay. What do you need? Ask away. Um, tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Where do the neatest Grey Wardens from here? That's a good question. Orle? There's plenty in Orle, yep. but who go. knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. And nobody has a if cell phone. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Um, is there a headquarters somewhere? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Probably. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfels, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact so, them. So, unless well, we try you could get back to the magical cell phone or Denerim, something. I don't know. Ask Morgan to teleport you? The answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. Oh, bollocks. So what happens now that there's just two of us? I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. We could try to contact them. 
But that would mean leaving, leaving Ferelden, Ferelden and then, and then and the blight would overtake the entire country. In time to stop the blight. Yep. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. Good to know. Will we need? Will we need to start rebuilding the order? I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more Grey Wardens, right? But I don't know how to do the joining, or what's involved. I know it involves Lyrium and some other magic, and that it's really difficult to prepare. But that's it. Unless Talking about the elixir, because he has, uh, as we saw earlier, he can do the join just fine. There only be two of us for now, until more come from elsewhere. And um, what'll happen if you just left? Just left? You mean just left for Elden? Yep. I don't know. If there's an arch demon, however, if you saw him in your dream, be the only ones who can defeat it, and that means the blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlay and other lands would hear about it, and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelden. There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not suggesting you do. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Um... Such as they are. Okay, I've exhausted about all the those Grey ones. Warden. What do you need? Ask away. Um, how did you become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. Yeah, <laughs> you choke on it, you pass you out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? No. How many in before that? Let's see. I was in the Chantry Silly before. boy. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. You don't seem like the religious sort. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. Ha! <laughs> Sounds and like me. What, I, I can count pretty high. <laughs> The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Um... Why did the Grand Cleric want to keep you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens, is all. Well, then it's her Chantry fault. Didn't lose much. It's her loss. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow, rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. Damn straight! I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. Oh, Oh, Alistair. He was a good man. He was. Duncan was Good amazing. Who didn't deserve his fate. And I'm not kidding. I did start to choke that up during that cutscene where he died. Come on, let's Even go. though I've seen it three or four times already. Talking. We are not done talking until I say we are done talking. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. I already said I wouldn't. Oh, not what I meant to do. Shit. What do you need? Ask you something. Ask away. Um, so you said that Earl Eamon raised you. Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. Oh, really? Um... That would explain the smell, I think. Really? That must have been tough for him. Well, they were flying dogs, you see. Surprisingly strict parents, too. <laughs> and without Andrastian's to boot. <gasps> to boot. Um... That is what they say about Andrew. Oh, raised by flying devout dogs. I see. Or did I dream all of that? Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on the cold, hard ground, isn't it? <laughs> Are he is you adorable. having strange dreams? Uh, strange dreams? Um, yes, they all involve strangling you. Ones were making mad love in my toe. Oh my god. Um, only ones where the world is threatened by dark spawn. Hmm. Point taken. Let's see. How do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart I'm comments, bastard. I mean the fatherless <laughs> kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died I'm when bastard. I was very young. Al Eamon wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I, I like Earl Eamon. He's, pre he's a pretty good dude. For sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Um, he wasn't your father, so do you know who is? I know who I was told was my father. He died even before my mother did, anyhow. It isn't important. Yes. Ali Men eventually yes, married a young it is. woman for It is in fact extremely important and very plot relevant. him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you are lesser resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Al didn't care, but she did. 
So off I was so he got to sent the to the chantry. Yep. At age 10. Arlesa's just not well. too much of a fan of the him. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Um, is there another reason I can... What an awful thing to do about that. What? Yeah, what an awful thing Maybe. to do to a child. She felt threatened by my presence. I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. It was the a mummy's? Yep, mother's. it was the mummy's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off Every and character threw it the has a certain shattered. item that is extremely stupid, important in plot barrel and vent to them. You get all kinds of praise if you get it. Yarl came them. by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. By the fact it was his wife that sent him away. He just stopped coming. Um, you were young. And raised by dogs. Young and raised well, by dogs. Well the way I acted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but maybe all young. Oh, Alistair, you're adorable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give all you a hug. I know a little is pet. That the Arl is a yes, I just petted my computer. And well loved by the people. Or he TV. also was King Kalen's uncle. So he has a personal motivation to see low gain pay. So that makes him your. Anyway, that's really all there is. I'm gonna to shut up now.